Oh, hi there. Uh, I haven't made any videos lately. I've been feeling kind of lousy. Uh, decided to make one today. Wanted to talk about the iPhone X. Uh, I think it is a very stupid product to buy, and I would not recommend it for anyone. Okay, yes, it's going to be faster. It's got more data. Um, probably takes better pictures. It's got facial recognition and some other things. Uh, I've heard many jokes about iPhones, about how they all are the same. Uh, it's the Derek Zoolander look effect. And to be honest, you just don't need it. Like, it's 1300 bucks uh, Canadian, and there are a lot of other things that are of way better value than that. And take it from me, I blew 2700 bucks on uh, cosmetics uh, for, you know, other reasons. Anyway, the thing about these iPhones is you don't need nothing fancy as far as communication goes. A regular standard phone that they had in the early 2000s, if you can still get one that works properly, will do. Um, I mean, even the old phones, they can still ping and uh, still wiretap without a warrant, but all in all, you're still better off. I mean, with these new phones, you can be in the other room. Hell, you could probably be outside. You can be outside your house or your apartment with the door closed, and it can probably still hear what you're saying. In fact, it wouldn't even surprise me if you had your music playing and you were talking in a low tone, if it could still hear you. Because the thing is, even if they don't have the capability of doing that yet, they're looking to acquire that ability. And this is a new arms race, this iPhone technology. And you go, well, I mean, there's Samsung and, you know, iPhone is obviously doing better. It's not quite the same thing. It's not with, you know, <laughs> nuclear weapons or anything like that. Of course not. But um, it's facial recognition. And that is big in Asia. Um, they're constantly trying to perfect uh, technology that recognizes facial features. And they're putting them everywhere. And this is a big deal because supposedly the Chinese are very capable of uh, building this technology and are probably better than, uh, than the uh, iPhone techies, you know, back here in North America. Uh, because if you look at the actual structure of an iPhone, to be honest, it doesn't look like a white man's invention. It looks like you need spindly little needle fingers to uh, have built such a thing. And it's not even the style a white man would like. Like, I don't, like, I don't, I wouldn't want to be flicking my finger around a screen looking like a douchebag. Uh, I don't want to be, you know, to start it, I have to get a special key or whatever the fuck that is. Or, you know, get the SIM card out with all that stupid bullshit. Uh, I don't want to be one of these dweebs on the subway going... Uh, better check my status on my Twitter account. Oh, no. Somebody uh, said a negative comment about me. It's probably my guardian angel telling me to fuck off again. He always does that because he's a prick. Uh, okay, so there's that. I mean, you're voluntarily giving your fingerprints when you touch your finger on the screen, which you do probably a thousand times a day. Uh, okay, so you've done that. You're allowing them to have facial recognition. They can recognize your voice because they're audio recording you, whether you like it or not. They don't have to tell you any of this, and they won't. If you ask a bureaucrat or an iPhone employee, they'll straight up deny it. So I don't even bother. I just go, look, imagine the worst case scenario, and then factor in how incompetent they are, and you'll more likely find a median uh, level ground at where they're probably at. And, like, I remember when the damn phone came out and these, like, two Iranian friends were like, oh, yes, this is what our friendship was about. Back in high school, we were always buying the new iPhone. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you're a bit of an idiot, aren't you? But you drive a BMW, don't you? I bet you have a Jetson-style house, don't you? I bet you're not even a real fucking person, are you? You're just a fucking dweeb. Don't have anything of any actual worth. That piece of junk iPhone X, 
in a year's time it'll be fucking used it'll be garbage um I mean, some people would actually still pay some somewhat big money for it. I have no idea why, but uh, if I were cursed and had to buy an iPhone X, I would not buy a used one off of someone unless it was like a really good price. Uh, I just, you know, like I don't even want one. I have an iPhone 5, and that was specifically for making YouTube videos with. I wanted to uh, record on the go. Uh, get in a Wi-Fi hotspot and upload it real quick. Uh, turns out if you're using free Wi-Fi, it's not so easy. Like free Wi-Fi is junk. Uh, so I ended up mostly using it at home anyway. Didn't really accomplish much. However, uh, the camera I also bought is also Wi-Fi compatible, although there are no features on it that say uh, I can do anything with it on Wi-Fi. It just means Big Brother can have a look at it when he wants to. Uh, my computer, uh, just over here, um, it doesn't specifically say anywhere, although I've not really looked, uh, that it it's Wi-Fi compatible. Uh, I'm sure it is. I'm sure all new towers are. Uh, they want everything to be automatically connected to the internet. Blu-ray players, PS4s, TVs, laptops, towers, phones, everything. Watches. And you get these retards going, oh, it's the wave of the future, man. This is uh, the way technology's going. And they've completely forgotten all the books they were supposed to have read. Well, I didn't read them either, but you know what? I, I got the general idea of what those books were saying, man. And I'm going low tech. No, well, not low tech, but you know, like, I ain't need no fancy fucking buttons and apps and Wi Fi and people sticking their nose in my business and all that other kind of junk you can buy a decent camera if you want to take pictures with a decent camera that don't got no Wi-Fi on it uh, so if you're using the uh, well I want to be able to take good pictures and it may as well be attached to my phone at the same time logic and you're retarded because you're not taking into consideration it's taking pictures of you and you don't know it and this thing can uh, see through clothes too it's probably got infrared and not only that um, it's at the point where if you get put in a particular situation it can actually doctor uh, whatever video or audio uh, surveillance it's gathered uh, supposing you had it at an angle well, I'll say outside of the pants and it does an infrared says it's seen your dick and then says it's the size of a tic tac i mean most people are naturally inclined to laugh at people and uh any chance they get they will use it even if it's because of an asshole making a you know a really mean comment they'll still do it so there's that possibility um you know 1300 bucks you can do quite a bit with that. Uh, for most people, uh, that's a month's worth of groceries. Easy. If For some people, it's a lot more than a month's worth. But for my household, it's about a month's worth. Uh, you know, I can just think of way cooler things to buy. And, you know, I don't mean to stereotype, but it bloody well is easy to stereotype with these kind of idiots to buy these things. They're the kind of jokers that you ran into high school with who wore shiny pants with fucking adidas white shoes and uh... you know um, slick rick back hair uh, uh, you know knapsack filled with uh, heavy hard copied books that are you know uh, tougher than they are and just I can, I can picture the kind of dweeb that would actually buy this stupid thing and yeah, you, you go on ahead and, and help along the, uh, well, it's almost a trillion dollar industry. Uh, the, the company, uh, Mac, Apple, is almost a trillion dollar business. And they said it like, yeah, we should be proud. Fuck you, Apple. What are you going to fucking do for me when you become a trillion dollar business? You're going to do me anything? You're going to cut me some slack? Cut me a fucking deal on a phone? Fuck off. He ain't going to do nothing for me. Uh, I, you know, I don't take any pleasure in going, oh, that company's made a bunch of money. That's 
got to be good for the economy, got to be good for me. I mean, it would be different if they said, well, they're going to be a trillion dollar company and they just shafted the Asians. <laughs> then, okay, you know, that'd be a little something, but uh, they ain't ever going to say that because all those phones are made over there. It's a trillion dollar uh, business, and nobody quite knows who's got how much money within that industry. I mean, you get your Mark Zuckerbergs, who uh, or the poster boy, but you don't really know how much he's worth. Because when you're dealing with that kind of money, people are liars. They're compulsive liars. I mean, you start talking to people about, you know, like 60 bucks, and you'll run into compulsive liars. Imagine when you have to deal with people that high up the food chain. Fuck, they'll lie about what fucking toothpaste they're using. Or, you know, uh, or, or anything. Like, and how do you deal with people like that? You know, uh, yeah, the, the thing about this iPhone is um, it's more sophisticated, it's better, and not for you. It's better for the company and big business and the government who's using this technology to convince you you need it for some retarded reason and to get you to pay for it. This saves the government the time, energy, effort, and the looking bad part by not having to install cameras at uh, every designated location in, uh, you know, in public space, which is what they really ought to do if they want to lower crime. Like, uh, you know, I live in a pretty peaceful neighborhood. I'm not particularly worried anything's going to happen. I could go out any time of the night and not be concerned. When I say that, I mean, you know, obviously before the stores close. Uh, not especially worried about that. But, you know, for some people, they would like the comfort of knowing, well, if I got hit by a car or something like that on this street corner, I would like some camera to have seen um, the license plate. Fair enough. Um... Your iPhone in your pocket isn't going to see that license. So, you know, you've just contributed $1,400, $1,300, whatever the fuck, with taxes, probably $1,400, to a phone that did fuck all for you. Except maybe you're still conscious and you can dial the 911 to uh, get assistance, which you could have done with any old phone. And it wouldn't cost you no thirteen hundred dollars. Um, yeah, a lot of people they don't understand. They go, "Well, why are you against technology? Why are you against things being better and more sophisticated?" Like I walk through uh, TV stores and I look at how um, illuminate and how um, crisp the images on the new TVs are, and how detailed they are. And the sound on them is very excellent. But it isn't worth it going, wondering every day, is there a goddamn camera behind that screen? And most people do not have the money to go, I'm going to satisfy this curiosity and smash the thing right now. However, there will be eccentric millionaires who go, yes, I am going to buy a TV from this store, and one from another, and another, and another. I'm going to smash those TVs, and I'm going to see if there's a damn camera in them or not. And you may go, well, they might be able to disguise the camera or, you know, the Wi-Fi component or change how it looks, make it look like something else or anything. And you have no idea what it is. I mean, maybe you're just a country bumpkin, a junkyard dog. But you ain't used to seeing this alien technology that uh, this new wave of uh, technological equipment. And you have no way to comprehend it. I mean, because that's another part of what iPhone does, along with all these other mobile tech companies, is that uh, they want to create stuff that people don't know how it works, what it does. That's why you can't fix the stuff. You can't fix it yourself. You can't call a repair guy to fix it. You send it to a plant to be refurbished, if you're lucky. Most of the time, it just it gets thrown away. It's rubbish. You turn it in for cash back, and that's it. Uh, I think with iPhones, anyway, I don't think too many people buy them refurbished. I suppose you can, ain't looked into it, not going to, not interested. Uh, I don't feel like joining the mass of stupid idiots. It's like Chim Pokemon in, uh, in South Park. It, the one person who 
was saying, don't get involved in this. You don't have to. You don't have to be like everyone else. Uh, was Stan's father. And, no, it was Kyle's father. Kyle's father. And then Kyle turned around and became like the biggest chimp Pokemon collector of them all. If I recall the episode correctly. Uh, but, uh, you know, the, the message was simple anyway. That, you know, just because there's a bandwagon doing something doesn't mean you have to do it too. I mean, we've all heard if so-and-so jumped off a cliff, it doesn't mean you have to too. Unless you're a complete retard. And I'm totally going to trash the iPhone X. Like, I don't care if it's faster. I don't care if it's got better access to the internet. I don't care if it takes better pictures. I don't care if it's got facial recognition. I don't care what other features it's got. I don't fucking need it. I don't fucking want it. And, you know, you get, like, Connor McDavid uh, in one of his commercials. He gets handed one of these things. That poor son of a bitch is being followed around wherever the fuck he goes, man. The guy can't fucking blow a fart without somebody knowing. Of course, I don't talk like that on the uh, television because they already have a TV series where it is, you know, all borderlining that creepy. And that's <laughs> entertainment tonight, those sick fuckers. Uh, you know, you know, there's a lot of people out there with power who have got a fucking screwed up mentality in life. And it's like, okay, they must be getting older now. Maybe they'll die. Maybe they'll just die of natural causes. But no, they breed more of them. And these people, they come out of the ground, out of the caves, wherever the fuck they come from, man. And they fucking want to push their ideological beliefs on people. You watch television, man. And was what other waves of the future are coming around? What else you see that's, that's, that's you know, making big splash in the news and, you know, they're sh cramming it down our throats whether we like it or not. Transgenderism, gender fluid, uh, Black Lives Matter, uh, some other shit. And it's... Uh, it, Kaepernick with his knee down on a NFL football field, probably taking it up the coast with him, every damn football player on the team and the opposing team. Because Kaepernick is a Afro sack of shit bitch. And he looks like one too. He's probably not even attracted to women. Anyway, my point is the way technology and the media surrounding technology is going and what people are considering normal and a good idea and things like that it's really going off into a, like a sick and twisted direction well i ain't noticed it around where our whereabouts i go because you know i guess people don't pay much attention to the television or uh buy fancy iphones and things like that but um you know, in some places it may be different. Maybe, you know, uh, in another province, uh, you know, south of the border or anything like that. Maybe things are just different in another place. And you actually do have, you know, an enclosed space filled with uh, Looney Tune characters that are waiting to escape. <laughs> and they're, they're contagious. They're, they're like a disease. Uh, like you, look at some of those Facebook, uh, uh, you know, groups and posts and things like that that are going on, and you go, why in the fuck is this even here? Like, why? Is this supposed to be educational? Are we supposed to, you know, feel better after watching it? Is it supposed to brainwash us? Because i got to tell you, that's a sad and pathetic attempt if that's what it is. And, you know, I don't think a lot of people go into it. And, you know, I look at my Facebook pages and I go, why the fuck am I even on these things? Well, actually, I know why. Because they're the only Facebook pages I got. The only ones I am able to join. And, you know, they, they don't say much. It's very controlled. I made a video on another channel of this where some people can be put in a social environment where there is only certain social stimuli. And it's very easy to do when uh, they're disabled, like I am because uh, of my throat, and all they got is the computer to talk to. It's very easy, and, you know, um, it had no effect on me. Like, I, I watch the stuff I like, um, the stuff I didn't go looking for and I had to read or watch, 
didn't affect me, it didn't change my mind, and I thought their powers of persuasion were quite pathetic, to be honest with you. I thought their ability to tell lies was absolutely abysmal. Like, this is your best attempt at selling your product, your iPhone X, or um, your other technological um, advancements for the future. And I go, your lie is so pathetic, it's like a loose string on a poorly made jersey. You just yank it, and the whole thing comes unraveled. Yeah, I'm all about old technology as far as DVDs. Well, I guess Blu-ray is not particularly wrong with them, except that, you know, they're usually associated with Blu-ray players that have Wi-Fi. But I, I'm more into DVDs. Uh, a lot of people don't want to have collections anymore. They want it all on a simple, convenient little drive on their computer or on the Netflix. Very easy to control things when it's like that. You, know, you can remove programs that you don't want. Oh, the government can remove programs that it doesn't want on there easily. And they will. Because people just won't have the historical context to know that that movie ever existed or that TV show ever existed. Who knows? Maybe even The Sopranos in 50 years' time will be gone from Netflix. I mean, you tell people that today and they go, oh, that'll never happen. Do they know that? How do they know that? They got a time machine? Did they get a phone call from someone 50 years from now telling them Sopranos is still going to be on the air? You don't fucking know, you fucking idiot. But I tell you what I do know. That you deal with anyone as far as a lot of money goes or bureaucratic position. They are going to lie their asses off about anything because odds are you ain't going to like what they have to say. And their only mechanism of dealing with it is to lie to you. And to tell you as little as possible. Or nothing if they can get away with it. And really, what are they? They have fucking tie-wearing, pointy-ass, fucking stupid prick. I mean, like, if, you know, a pineapple fell off the shelf and uh, landed next to them, uh, all of a sudden, it's like their their knee would go and they'd hobble. They're like, oh, my knee, oh, no, litigation. Uh. And you go, really? Is this where humankind has gone? Is this what we've evolved into? I mean, on the Facebook, it says, look, everyone's a big fat slob, uh, country bumpkin, KFC eating, greasy haired, stupid son bitch. But in reality, a lot of people turn into little bitches that are looking for excuse to be offended, looking for reasons to go, oh, woe is me. And, oh, but I must buy my new iPhone 6 or iPhone X, whatever the fuck. Uh, I must keep in style. Oh, I have to uh, pay rent on my overly expensive apartment the size of a cubicle. I must have no possessions. Oh, forget possessions. I don't want possessions. I don't want things in my house. I don't want things to remind me that I'm human. I mean, some people take it a little too far sometimes. You know, they like stacks of gold and uh, other things of high value, such as me. Uh, a lot of people will admit that on the internet, but you know I'm going to because I can. Uh, I'm not going to be some douchebag who's trapped in an apartment. Because then you know what happens? You become the Edward Norton. Refrigerator full of condiments, no food. You want to live that life? Then you have a mental disorder. And, you know, you want this wave of the future to come about? where everything becomes like the Jetsons and everything's clean, sophisticated with like little gadgets and buttons and things, you know, show up out of nowhere and it's got infrared and all this other shit. You want a RoboCop 3 scenario because that's what you're going to get. All of the fucking shitty parts are all going to get smashed down and the government's going to appropriate all that land. Okay, now I've talked about a few things here, but it's all relating towards where society is going and there has to be some voice reason to stop this sort of thing and you know I'm just not convinced the right sort of people are making money and I would prefer if some industries from the before time 
were the ones making money because they still can and it's all about uh mainstream media media's pitch uh their narrative on this technological wonders and the dvd awesome piece of equipment gets the job done uh if someone really wants to know what i'm up to they could come in along with one of them fancy radar trucks and uh you know go oh no ryan's watching beavis and butthead do america again what is that little bastard doing well yeah well go fuck yourself you got no business know what i'm doing fucking assholes uh well you know i've uh kind of talked a little bit going on here man but um yeah i guess i'll leave it at that uh iphone x there's two options you can not buy one and you know you're your own person or you can buy one and be a complete retard choice is yours and i'll leave it to you have a good one